So if you're playing Genshin Impact for a while, then I bet there must be at least one character whom you regretted pulling. Well, me too. There are many characters whom I regret pulling. But this video is quite interesting. Because in this video, I will tell you about some characters who got the most votes to be the most regretted characters in the game. So yeah, before starting off this video, I want you guys to like and subscribe this channel if you haven't. And now, let's start. So a Reddit user going under the name Vivi, do you love me? Well, it's an interesting name recently posted an interesting analysis of existing five star and four star characters in his subreddit they surveyed Genshin Impact players and asked what their most regretted characters are and that they pulled into the game around 824 responses were gotten from the survey and with the results the user compiled all the votes and produced some infographs but let me tell you first this analysis was based on some categories the first was gameplay like feels clunky slow boring or uncomfortable to play the second was kit and damage disappointment, like elemental skill, burst or constellation do not perform up to the standard. The third one was buyer's remorse, purposefully pulled for the character but no longer likes them. Pressure from friends, youtubers, streamers or something like that, even fear of missing out. The next one was impulse pulls, purposely pulled on the banner but didn't want the character. Building pity, pulling for 4 star characters. The next one was team tyranny, the character has too few team options and needs too many 5 star teammates to work well. The next one was dated. Character's kit does not fit well in the current updated content and newer character performs the same job but in a better way. And the last category is not specified, like no specific reasoning. There are other reasoning for regretting the characters that are not in the other options. So I have ranked 8 characters. And on number 8, we have Hu Tao. About 57.7% of Hu Tao users dislike her gameplay. Hu Tao, in a similar situation as Zhao, loses HP to gain attack and also gains buff when she is below 50% of HP. As a result, many users do not have the skill to keep her constantly on low HP and avoid damage from killing her. Additionally, her charge attack dish out the most damage so maintaining her stamina may feel frustrating to do so. For the 19.2% of buyer remorse, Hu Tao has also been hyped out by many Genshin content creators. After her banner debut, so many players quickly pulled her in her reven, probably from pressure. At number 7, we have Arataki Ito. Ito has been a very balanced mix of responses where many Ito users express dislike in every single category. 22.2% of the users pulled out of impulse or felt remorse after using him. Ito is the very first 5 star Geo DPS unit and as such many people have pulled for him due to influence from Genshin content creators. Additionally his banners almost always had new limited 4 star characters such as Goro and Kuki Shinobu and as a result many players have pulled for those 4 star characters. At number 6 we have Eula. There's a tie with dated and not specified being 33.3% for all Eula users. Eula falling into the dated category for reasoning makes sense since the Genshin Impact content and meta have changed drastically after Eula's banner came out. Many enemies and bosses rely too much on specific elements or elemental reactions to defeat them. Since Eula is mostly a physical DPS unit, she underperforms during these situations as a result. Gameplay is at 18.5% due to Eula having slow normal attack animation as a claymore user. Her elemental burst has a set timer where it deals AoE damage after it pops and hence her burst may get wasted if the enemies are not within the area at that time. At number 5 we have Kanyo. Ganyu has a drastic ratio of whooping 81.5% of users disliking her gameplay. Ganyu is one of the most broken DPS units in the game, but for endgame users, dealing big amount of damage becomes less important than having fun with gameplay designs. Her users expressed that at one point her gameplay become very boring and reductant of having to use charge attacks all the time. At number 4 we have Zhao. Zhao users seems to dislike his gameplay as agreed by 44.4% of them, even though his NA and elemental skill are good, his elemental burst which is his main kit has several problems. Zhao as a character loses HP when he activates his elemental burst to gain attack. When he uses plunge attacks, Zhao has about 0% resistance to interruption and as a result can get knocked out mid-air by any enemy. As such he relies on shielders. 18.5% did not specify their reasons for regretting their pull while 11.1% on the other hand responded with distaste regarding their kit and damage. 
Zhao has many internal issues regarding his burst, such as not generating energy particles when using his skill, and he's reliant on healers and having a high burst cost too. At number three, we have Child. 35.9% of Child users dislike his gameplay, even though Child has a unique kit of switching to different weapons forms by his elemental skill and have two different elemental bursts. His long elemental skill cooldown is very frustrating to wait for. He has a 45 second of cooldown after fully or almost using it. Due to the long cooldown, it may prove to be very difficult to properly conduct team rotations. Around 20.5% did not specify their reasons while 154 of the users pulled due to impulse pulling or feeling bias remorse. Child is an early game limited 5 star character who is one of the first hydro dps unit in the game. Maybe people may be inclined to pull for him due to those reasons while other may have pulled on his rerun banners due to limited 4 star characters like Rosaria during his first rerun banner. At number 2 we have Clay. 52.4% of Clay users dislike her gameplay. Hoyoverse fumbled with Clay's whole gameplay by making her a dps character. Clay uses a child model and is a catalyst user and as such her normal and child attacks are clunky to use and rely too much on utilizing a learning shortcuts. Her attack animations are slow and as she is a catalyst, her DPS capabilities are reduced due to her uncomfortable playstyle and 21.4% replied with not specified and 9.4% responded with bias remorse. The bias remorse may be the response of the first Klee users during her banner debut as she was the first limited event pyro DPS unit back then. And finally at number 1 we have Sino. From the pie chart, 38% of Sino users have a problem with his kit. Sino has a very disappointing damage multipliers where he underperforms so much that Kaching, who is a standard 5 star character, deals higher damage than him. To make his damage consistent and high enough to face the abyss and other overworld bosses, Sino's kit mostly relies on quick end reactions. Additionally, 20% do not appreciate his gameplay. If we compare him with Zhao, who is another short polearm male character, Sino has a very slow NA attacks and an underwhelming elemental skill. Sino's elemental burst lasts too long which makes players uneasy to waste his burst by switching to another character. Impulse, Pulse and Bias Remorse tie it at 10% which is justifiable seeing as how Sino has been a much anticipated character since Genshin Impact's webtoon. Hence many people have been hyping him for a long time. So yeah, these are some characters which you guys regretted the most pulling for. Some of the results feel very surprising while others have justifiable reasons. With that being said, it is advised that you should not pull for characters just to build pity and get the rate up 4 star characters or simply have the urge to pull. Additionally, Hoyoverse should take measures in presenting the characters kits easily so that you can fully determine if you want the characters or not. With that being said, if you have any other characters you regretted the most pulling for, comment down below and I will see you in the next one.